Hello everyone, uh, episode number 30, uh, BJJ 101 Store Room Podcast. I'm here with my uh, awesome partner here, Anso Anton Minenko. And today we have an amazing guest, um, Alex Pass. Alex, it's an honor to have you here with us. Uh, thanks for taking the time to do this interview. Um, I think you're going to be a super interesting person to talk to. Um, so before we get started, like I would like to know a little bit about where and why did you start training jiu-jitsu, please? Yeah. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Alex Paz, but my nickname, everybody know. I know some guys uh, feel a little bit shy about my nickname, <laughs> but it's, I'm very small and everybody in the school starts said to me, Negão. Negão is, uh, my nickname is Negão. It's funny. Sometimes you say, ah, I want to talk to Alex. And everybody, Alex, who is Alex? <laughs> and uh, my nickname is Negão. Who don't know is the big, big nigga. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but in Brazil, don't have this problem. I know some guys feel, and here in Australia, I feel, no, it's no nice talk. I say, brother, you want to what? You want to talk to me? I mean, there is no white. I mean, <laughs> that's it. Always I do this joking, okay? I don't have any problem. All of the friends, all the guys in jiu-jitsu uh, know me about Negão. Yeah. I don't have any problem, okay? And, uh, yeah. and, this, and uh, I started training uh, night one, night two, uh, jiu-jitsu. Uh, all my friends... Uh, training jiu-jitsu and the, all, all the time the guys, Alex, you must come and train jiu-jitsu. I'm almost I'm younger, 15. I have many problems in the street. I like a little bit fight in the street. I fight in the school a lot. And the, the guys, Alex, you must don't only train stand-up, Muay Thai. You must train jiu-jitsu. It's good for your self-defense. Sometimes you go to the ground, you know what you do. And uh, I start uh, uh, training jiu-jitsu with my friends. I start in, in Belo Horizonte, uh, Minas Gerais, with the Rui Menezes. But uh, after one year like this, I already start coming to the Rio. And I start training with Carson Grace. And uh, I train, I love training. I already start, I mean, uh, white belt, I train five, six hours every day. I love the sport. Uh, I train, I stay in the gym all the time. And the Carson always helped me a lot. Uh, Murilo Bustamante, Libório, Amaury Bitet. All the guys helped me a lot with jiu-jitsu. And, uh, uh, and in the academy, Carson, you have two mats. The who training a long time ago, no. Have one door. Uh, to the time you go to the stairs and your right side, uh, the door always close. Only the you, I don't say the only black belts. I always I talk is the tough guys. You are tough. You can go. The guys invite you. The guys must invite you. And the, uh, always I talk about the guys do the free massage on you, <laughs> and you don't complain. <laughs> you you didn't complain, it's okay. The guys can invite you more times for to do the free massage on you. And the time the guys, I mean, I think I'm a blue belt, and the guys start inviting me to come there. I mean, I'm taller, and the guys start, but always I go to the shower and start crying. Right. <laughs> uh, what I do here? Why? Why? <laughs> Doesn't make sense. I come here and the guys slap my face and punch and kick me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. I, I like this sport. This is always I have it, the nose bleeding. Uh, always I my mouth cut, uh, but uh, I don't know why. I love jiu-jitsu until now. I almost 32 years. I train jiu-jitsu and the, everybody know me. I train sometimes. I teach three, five, six classes a day, and I. I train three, four times. I train with you, everybody. I don't have this about the 
you are new guy, white, blue, I train. I, I, I like training, brother. This I learned with my masters and the, I love training. I never say no. I only train with the black belt or I don't train with this black belt. I know I'm old, but I think I must always improve. I love jiu-jitsu. And the, another thing is about um, uh, the guys talk about the old school and the new school, new generation. I, I, I love learning everything, okay? And the, I can, I train a long time and the, I say, this old school is very good. It's very cool you learn the basic, you do this, and it's very good you do the beating ball, you do the X guard, single X, hours I do. I love to do the single X, X guard. Okay, and it's very cool, Sammy. You, you might, you just, guys, I, I, I don't talk with anyone about the old school and the new generation. I talk about jiu-jitsu. Uh, you want to learn jiu-jitsu, you come and I can try help you. Okay, I start learning Birimbolo, I think, eight, nine years ago in Abu Dhabi with a big friend. Uh, I don't know. I, everybody started to do the Birimbolo, and the, I'm a big guy. I'm 110 kilos, and the, wow, how I do this, this thing, Birimbolo. Everybody do. I want to learn. I know it's, it's, the beginning is hard to I learn, but... I start step by step, step by step. I don't do on the training, but I can teach you. Somebody asked me about how are you, you start to do the beating ball, I can teach you. I think it's important the coach know about this. Sometimes I don't know, but I know how you can start approach and start to do the technique. I think this is very important. Yeah. Um, Alex, uh, with the Carson Gracie Academy, I have uh, my cousin... He's a good friend of yours, uh, Vinicinho, Vinicius Cruz. Um grande abraço para ele. Big hug for him. And he, he yours, I know you lived with Carson, and my cousin as well lived at Carson's house. And Carson always, uh, for people that are outside not belong to Carson Gracie, he always seemed like a big, big father for a lot of the, 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 the fighters there. And he made an amazing team. Um, and there's another, so what was the experience of first of all, living with Carson? Do you think that this idea that I have that he was a big father and he always looked after everyone and he would go on the mat and give us a lot of advice. He wasn't a guy so much to show techniques, uh, every class, but he would jump in sometimes and tell you one or two details that a lot of people told him that would make the whole difference in a fight. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah. Yeah, I talk. I stay with Castro until my purple belt. Uh, he he gave to me the blue and purple, and the after the split, you can talk after about the split and go well. open the top team. But Samuel said he's the big father, and uh, is amazing human being. Yeah, uh, and he he. What you said, he don't teach you a lot, do the, the, but brother, he on the training, what I talk about with everybody, the time everybody asks me, uh, what he do, he knows what you need, no. You need, he see something, he see, no, your mistake, you put the hand here, he far away about you, but he see you train, and he's uh, straight away here. Alex, don't do this. Put the hand here. You see block here. And he, the time he said, and you try, you say, Carson, it's harder to do like this. And he try. And, he, and you, wow, it's work. How is possible? You only you say block. It's simple things. And about what he do on the train. I think the, in my case, what the, the time, how, he, how I can say, uh, how he do the training, the academy, he push you always in your limit. And the, he always is funny, everybody know Carson. And imagine I have the train today, Carson start to teach, and me and you, Eduardo, start to train. Huh? You train every day, but always you, you give me the hard time, 
you always smash me. And today I start to smash you. I start to be good on the train. I start to smash you and finish the train. I mean, feel okay. Eduardo always smash me. But today I'm in the castle go there with you and say, Eduardo, Alex, very happy. He talked to everybody. I know. You. I know. He, he makes he makes <laughs> he makes a, a, a competition inside a training become fire up both. So next training comes everyone harder again. Yeah, exactly, brother. Ah. Exactly. But I, I what I see now this time, you do this in some academies. I think I think you have a big problem. I yeah, go fight yeah. with you, maybe I punch you, I, I feel peace. But this time, bro, everybody knows. And I come the next day, I, I do my best, but I never want to hurt my friend. Yes. I never do something to yeah. hurt my friend. Yeah, you okay, have that values. Say... Yeah. Yes, exactly. Alex, you have, yeah. I want to train hard with you, you hard with me. You don't want to uh, give me any chance, but you train hard. This is stop on the wall, stop in the that's it, never stop. You stop your problem, you keep going, you train harder, you must get up, you, you try to sweep. I think uh, for me, the best thing in the cast is like this he push you always in the limit, limit. Always, I, I love any Samuel said, I, I don't want to talk about cast. This is the big father, always help you. He give you all the best. He wanna try help you. See, Vinicinho is my big friend too. He live with Castro. I live with Castro many years, and he is a uh, amazing human being. Nice. Uh, um, another characteristic that I thought about um, about my Carson friends, you know, people that train with Carson, they had two things that are really interesting. One thing is that they they defend really well, so. They know like th th that defense is very good and that keeps them coming back. So they have very they very durable, but they also they defend really well. And you get tired because they not get submitted. It's very difficult to submit. And then they come back and they have gas to go. So at one time they just they're more durable. They're gonna they resist, you know. Um, that's one thing. And the second time as and the second thing as well. I'm talking about like beginning of the 90s as well, you know, maybe 94, 96, a lot of competitions that I used to go. Um, and it was a more ri rivalry. And you remember that time, we're gonna, we can talk a little bit about that. But the the Carson people, they passed the guard a lot on the floor. They had a lot more weight, like they put weight Fresh. a little bit more. Fresh. They have more pressure. The other schools, they pass a little bit more standing up, you know. But yes, they a lot more weight pressure orientated. Why do you think that was the case? Because of Carson himself, or because the the people that he, he had working there with him? Uh, what I can talk about? Uh, yeah, you, you see, you have the De La Riva, have some guys with amazing guard, but uh, I, I think before this is in, before is the what the name heavy Peixotinho. You, you know, Peixotinho, yeah. have the Rosado. I think these big guys, Heavy guys. I start to put a lot of pressure. The yeah. time I start coming to the castle, the guys already have uh, his gym and start teaching. But I know about Rosado, the, uh, Kaique, a uh, very old school, Cássio Cardoso. The guys a lot of pressure. The guys have good guard, but always the guys feel comfortable to put the pressure and smash, put the same, the guy say, uh, same a pig, start putting it there, and the, the yeah, pig, same yeah. valid smile, and uh -huh. start go, same a screw, and... I think yeah. that, 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 that has a lot of... Um, th th I think this is totally uh, true, your statement, because after this generation, which was already big guys that use pressure, you got your... You got Paulão, you got... Uh, you know, so you keep getting guys that had like judo guys already, good base, and you know, uh, you you know, and just keep coming these guys, and and they have pressure, pressure pass game as well. They put weight really well. You know, um, I'm trying to remember a couple of other guys that were coming in my head, but now you know, your Carlão yeah, Barreto. Yes, yeah, Carlão Barreto have amazing guard, very good guard, but he's big guy, he's bigger yes. than me. And 
Good prayer, yeah. A Mauri, a Mauri on top. What was, you know, never, never seen him no, passing no, no, a guy no. standing up, ever. A Mauri, in competition. he hold your D, he, you don't have one centimeter. Yes. You start, you want to push, he close to you. Same yes. as super glue. He's impressed. Yeah. How he's, who's the, and the, a Mauri, 88 kilos, 85, 88 kilos, and the, a lot of pressure. Um, in your opinion, what was the best, you know, uh, former UFC champion um, Murilo Bustamante, yeah, he a lot of people at Carson consider him one of the best guards at Carson Gracie, um, super difficult to pass and, and also like really well, worked really well, uh, adapted really well for MMA. Um, do you think that who, who, what was the best guard in your opinion, like for you? that would give you the hardest time and like for everyone else, that everyone else also comment at Carson Gracie training. Okay, uh, you you uh, you talk about the MMA first, about UFC. Jiu-Jitsu. I, I, yeah, I, I love Murilo, how he play in this time, okay? He, he's got to train a lot with him and the, uh, he... He is different level, okay? He always he put himself in the very bad position. You see, one trainer always uh, he do with him, he put 10 guys with the gloves on the corner and these 10 guys one minute with each one on the bottom. The guy, Murilo stay on the bottom, do guard, and it's not allowed. Murilo, don't submit, don't sweep, don't do nothing. Oh, but what's this training? Yes, he must only block. And you come to punch him inside his guard. I no, I hate this training. I hate. Everybody hate. Is I is few guys do this training very well. Another guy do very well this training, have an amazing guard, is Alan Goyce. He do very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the guy, imagine, po, thank you. 10 guys, different guys, one minute, and you go and punch, 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 and Murillo stay there. How he start the first minute, he finish the 10 minutes, same. Same face, don't have problem, and that's it. I think it's Murillo, in my opinion, but I, I love to the hand couture. I love hand couture, what he did, okay? He compete in, in the 90... Uh, below 94 and above the heavy weights, I like the hand couture. But what? Okay. It, but how about you in jiu-jitsu at Carson? Like some the best guards in jiu-jitsu at Carson. I think jiu-jitsu. I think about the the time is some. I talk Amaury. The is always is very hard. It's very hard training with Amaury. Okay, he always train a semi competition. He's it's hard to do anything with him, okay? But he, one generation, is my generation start, I think Paulo Filho and the Ricardo Arona is the, is very hard training, ha, very hard. Paulo Filho and the Ricardo Arona is impossible. Ricardo Arona is like this. He don't have the, uh, he only start the position number one to 1,000. He, he will start training if he, he do like this. Boom. That's it. And he didn't stop. And he have amazing guard. He have amazing stand-up. He have amazing pass. And he always faster. He never stop. Arona, I think he, Paulo Filho is the best ones. Cool. Cool. Um, Alex, just um, a question about... Um, uh, Carlson, like how, what like made him such a powerful figure in the community? Like we're talking about how he was such a powerful leader and like you talked about, he could create like this um, competition between guys, but he still had so much power and everyone had so much respect for him that they would never step past you know, the competition, like he talked about, if you did that now, there would be many guys fighting in the gym and getting upset with each other. What what made him such a, like, um, I don't know how to say, but like this figure in the community, what made this guy so, um, like, such a leader? Yeah, I, I think he is, is, is 
it's coming natural, natural from Carson. I think some guys have this. Is the semi you said to me leader? Yeah, some guys already. You some guys want to tie, be a leader, but it's never work. I think coming natural with Carson, how he respect everybody. Okay. Uh, he is. Uh, it's hard to talk about Carson, but he, it's about the respect. I come. I I think he, everybody. Uh, it's hard to talk about me, but. He, I respect everybody. I start to respect the white belt. Some guys don't care about uh, about the white belts. And the guys, the time you talk about the white belts in the gym, you talk, you already think about the business and you start about the money. This is important. I know. I'm no stupid about the, ah, I don't want the white belts. I don't care that if to pay, I must pay my bills. But I, 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 I grew up with Murilo. Liborio, the, uh, Carson, and the guys, everybody. I never pay one. I, I never pay the gym. I never pay. I don't have money to pay. And uh, I, I, I live in the gym almost two years. In the mat, I have the big bed on the world. I have all the mat night to sleep. And guys, uh, somebody come to me and say, I, I, I must help you. It's hard to me said no, no, you must pay. That's it. Go away. Guys, you know, everybody help me. The time I need, everybody help me. And I think Carson is semi Murilo and the, the guys uh, is, is natural. You don't need to try for something. And I think the time you try for something about ah, I be nice with Eduardo. Eduardo, I have big academy. I go, but with the other guys. I don't care, this guy. The guys understand me? Fuck off. I don't care. Okay? I, I, I respect, brother. I think I come here. Uh, I learned this with Carson, with Murilo, Liborio. Uh, and the, uh, and the about another thing that Carson do, uh, he make you feel you, you are, I'm sorry what I say, but he, he feel you feel a shit. You think you are very good, he prepare one good training for you and he <laughs> make everybody make you tap for you feel a shit. I don't want to talk about names, but he have some guy very famous <laughs> and he, he start to want to uh, choose the time, the training. He want to train this time. He's a, a tough guy. This, this, this. And the Carson always, wait, wait. Okay. He's a champion. Huh? Okay. One time one guy came here, go start the training. And he prepared the training for the guy start to be a little bit tired. Now you come and train with him. Only they slap. Bro, the guy almost killing the champion. Only they slap. The guy, I stop. So, no, no, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> you see? You think you are the man? No, 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 no. I show you. you are. And the Carson do like this many times. Many times the cast prepare you, you think you are, I'm the champ, I'm the old champ, I'm the... Humbled, humbled champ. Okay, he prepares something for you. And that's very important to bring the ego down a little bit. It brings the person more uh, humility because otherwise, you know, go, you know, grow, tipo, yeah, goes no, up your head. Exactly. And I come from BTT, Carson, and the guys, always my partner, Khalil, is my my partner here, he, I talk to him, I, many guys come in the, about my experience about MMA and start to talk about it. Ah, MMA, I say, guys, ah, guys, MMA is so hard. Yeah. And first, about the belts, some guys, I, I, ha I, I have the experience about BTT. I was like, it's hard, bro. I know, I don't talk about you are blue, purple, brown, black, and the, but the guys don't have the respect. And many guys, very tough, you see, I have me, I have one guy train with me, Angelo. He came from the north in Brazil, tough guy, already have 30 MMA fights. You go train jiu-jitsu with him, you submit him 10, 20 times. But put the train MMA. Huh. MMA 10 minutes. You smash him, punch, smash him, two, three, four, five, six minutes. After, brother, you don't submit, you don't do not, he kill you. He is very tough. He is no good, but his conditioning and he 
e, e o punch, 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 you try submit, you do the choke, you do everything. He escape everything and punch. But what I talk about, about don't have the, the respect about the mats, the old guys have the uh, Murilo, have Liborio, have the Carson in the mat come and they shake hands. Ah, hi, can I go inside? I think he, this little bit in the MMA class, you lose this in the MMA class. Is I, I, I didn't like about MMA about this. I can help. I have some students who start to want to do MMA. I can I help, of course, but specific the gene, MMA gene is so hard. I agree with you completely, Alex. Uh, to the point that some people that came to me uh, and asked me to, oh, can you help me? I want to fight. I actually give the address to MMA gym, you know, like close by, say, I mean, go there. I literally exactly. don't want it. I literally don't want it. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just, it's not the same vibe. I don't think you'll never be the same vibe. Uh, you can make it a little bit like less aggressive and less kind of like, uh, but you're never going to make the same vibe as you can make in a jiu-jitsu community. Exactly. That's pretty much That's impossible. It. Even yeah. from a good leader, you can't do it. Exactly. Uh, That's it. Uh, and you, you, we have, you have many problems about this. The guys came from, I don't know, Muay Thai, uh, wrestling, and they come to the gym. I, was, I, 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 I live with Murilo and Liborio more than four or five years. And the, always I talk, ah, I think he, the guys must do something about the belts for the guys know who, and the, the guys didn't respect it. Come anytime and don't talk with anyone. And the, I think it's the vibe is different. And they, ah, okay, you can do, you can do, but never the guys, but the hours I talk, uh, I live with you. Uh, and I no, said with you. Sorry, uh, my next question would be actually about that time you lived with uh, Murilo and Liborio. Um, I lived with Traving, Traving, Roberto Traving. I live with him here in Queensland uh, years and years ago before his wife came here to study and we lived together for about a year and a half, just me and him. And um, I, I learned a few things, you know, like what, are the f what have you learned from living with guys that are such a, you know, uh, athletes and, you know, like have such a, 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 a curriculum, amazing curriculum in jiu-jitsu, you know, like masters of the art. What was your like good learning lessons you had? Uh, uh, is uh, both is little bit the um, uh, Murilo personality is little bit different. Murilo is quiet, don't talk too much. Is Libori like talk more and the but the, the both is is the both. I think this time is my my father my brother, uh, my master, of course. And the, always the guys help everything. The guys invite me to live with both. And the, always I do everything. Always the guys come, Alex, do this, do that. Always I go to Pride. The time I, the Pride, I train a lot with Murilo. And I go to Pride many times in Japan. Uh, I... I what I learned a lot, of course, I talk about Jiu-Jitsu, MMA, but it's about the respect, guys. How the guys treat everybody. And mm -hmm. it's about the um, resilience. Yeah? Yes. Resilience, resilience. Yeah. resilience. Yes. Murilo and guys. I, and the, I think the more important thing the guy said to me, Alex, you must respect. You don't, you don't need to be better than no, the, no one. You must be like this, respect everybody, treat everybody well, and that's it, okay? Don't try to be a asshole with anyone, that's it. The guys don't like you, that's it. You say good morning, good night, and that's it. You must always treat everybody well. I have this, and the hours I talk with a lot with Murilo and the, and the Liborio. Uh, I started last week, I talked to Murilo, to, I want to bring him here to do the seminar and stay with me a few days. And the, uh, what I have, the, the amazing of my life is how the guys uh, set me up to respect and treat everybody well. Okay, that, uh, yeah, that's, that's the, the, 
the root of the question was as, was actually to get the values that you you learn from them. That's perfect, Alex. Thank you. Uh, uh, actually, funny enough, we talk about Murillo and uh, Liborio. Uh, Anton uh, always talk, told me, always commented on, for me about the experience he had at uh, one of one of the best seminars he ever been to was from Liborio. First, first seminar ever. So I started I started jujitsu with Gustavo Toledo. He um, Bomba. Yeah, Bomba. He, um, Bomba. I started with him in South Australia, and I think maybe I was 14 or something like that. I was one of, I think I was the only kid training at the time. There was only men, but I was a pretty big kid, you know what I mean? Maybe 80 kilos, 85 kilos already, 14 or whatever. And he, um, I think Liborio was down for one of the UFC events. There was a UFC event in Australia, and he just said, oh, man, I'm in Sydney, but... You know, Gustavo's in um, uh, South Australia. I'm going to go and visit him. So he just went there, turned up, and it wasn't like a formal seminar. I didn't plan anything, but he was in Australia. So he said, I'm going to come and visit for a couple of days for a week. And he did a seminar. And for me, even like so early in Jiu Jitsu, and I didn't understand much, man, I've never seen somebody that's so aware of everything in Jiu Jitsu. They're so. Um, so sensitive and they like you're kind of talking about Carson just by looking at what everyone's doing they can tell exactly what you need to change how you need to adjust your body and everything for me it was extremely surprising because I had never been exposed to this level of jiu-jitsu before and he he the seminar he got he's like all right I want to watch everyone roll everyone roll and then he said all right this is what I noticed everybody was doing wrong here guys do these (laughs) techniques man it was extremely interesting like for me it was such a um, awesome experience to notice this like man I was like in awe I couldn't understand how this person from just watching everybody can see exactly what you need to change and what you need to do different and stuff but, but for me is the best thing I ever you know noticed like it was so so early in jiu-jitsu but yeah it's my experience yeah. with him yeah nice nice, nice to know yeah. amazing and then many years later, I saw him in Japan as well and stuff like that. So, man, it's a very, very small community. Like, you know, I'm already maybe 20, 20, 25 or something like that going competing on the Grand Slam for the AJP or whatever. And I met him there with some of the guys from the Middle East. He's coaching there as well and stuff. At the time in Japan, he was, took a team there. But, yeah, it's, nice. a, it's a funny, such a small world. Like, there's so many connections and there's so much rich knowledge in so many different areas of jiu-jitsu from all the guys yeah. that started in brazil and most of them all come from this time from where you are from you know carlson's gym and and they're all over the world now so it's very very um interesting man yeah go ahead. so alex um you know i you you for 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 us like you're a famous famous face from abu dhabi uh, doing lots of referees you also have a, uh, you had a competition career as well, which award you um, ADCC medalist, which is an amazing achievement, uh, and many others, right? Um, I would like to, a lot of people still don't understand how big and actually um, how, how it's been growing the project in Abu Dhabi with Jiu-Jitsu. Um, how many coaches are there? What the project actually involves? Like, is that ADCC run by the same people or not? Can you give us a little bit about an idea about, because a lot of the people uh, in Western countries understand about IBJJF, but they do not know much about AJP. Can you tell us about this project and everything? Yes, yes. Yeah. The first thing, ADCC is one thing. Is another company, another people don't have nothing about the OAJJ Federation or the AGP now. Few years change the name for AGP. Okay, it's totally different. Don't know same people. Don't only is in Abu Dhabi, but is 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 not to work together. That's it. And the about the AGP. Yeah, the time semi. Long time ago, 2009, nine, yeah, nine, ten, I started the, the uh, World Pro and the imagine black belt go there and the fight the category, your category, and you have 8,000, 9,000, I think, US dollar. You is the winner, a lot of money, but imagine you go to the open weight and you have 30,000. 
Uh. Yes, exactly. And the, but what I think about is amazing. This yeah. is another level, the comps, everything. Of course, you put the money, but this, you must work together, everything. I talk about the time you put a lot of money, any competition, you must everything come together. The same time, one thing come here and the another one start coming here, is not to work well. Okay, what I want to talk about is about, you. I talk about the lights, I talk about the mats, I talk about the referees, I talk about the organization, about everything must together. One always go up and the another one stay here and start, don't, don't work well. Okay, this, I, did, I, I stay in Abu Dhabi almost 10 years and the, I, uh, I was there 2009, 10, 11, 12. I know many things uh, go wrong about the referees. I have another thing is that I think is uh, behind the backstage, okay? No one see this happening all the place. You run in any competition, you have some problems in the backstage, but who is start to look, don't see the problems, okay? But uh, about the referees, I always work with it. Referees and the, I start working in OEJJ and the AGP now, 2014 or 13, 14. I started, the guys said to me, come to do the, I'm the head referee in the, and the only one thing I said, I can help, okay, but must be fair, okay. Uh, I, I was, I, I, I think it's like this. Always I compete, and I remember look, the blue belt. I think in the world like this, um, I look my my bracket, and I ah, oh, and this time you don't have a, 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 a open weight. I look my bracket the open weight, and he don't have semi now. Yeah, only the medalists come and compete. Now, only the medalists, first, yeah. second, third place, can point. compete in the open way. Yeah. It's yeah. true? Yeah. 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 Okay. My time, I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Guys, I have 10, 12 brackets. Mm -hmm. And the, I do seven, eight fights, nine. I, I was, I talk with everybody. I said, guys, this is joke. You do three, four fights. And you said to me, you tired. Uh, please. I did in my word. word my, my last word, the two. 2001, I'm in the first place in my category in the open weight, brown belt. I did 14 fights. And, and I, my bracket, I, this is another uh, in blue belt, all the tough guys, my side, my first fight must be the final. My second, the third, fourth, all the, I say, oh, everybody put this side, all the tough guys. But when Murilo came to me, he said, it doesn't matter. You must go to fight in the final. Fight the first fight. You must beat everybody. Why you you said, nah, the guys put my first fight with this tough guy. Doesn't matter. You start must beat the first, the self. Doesn't matter who you want to compete, but it's true. It's true. I know many guys start to look at the bracket. It's nice now. It's another level. You are black belt and you, you want to know who you're going to fight. Okay, about the strategy. But I uh, know. I go fight with this tough guy. Oh, it's good, brother. Why? You want to go to the final? And the, okay, I'm in second place. Doesn't matter. I go to the final. I already, I lost for this guy. Okay. No, 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 no. You go fight any, the first fight, the second one, the last fight, you go and you must beat your opponent. That's it. So, okay. so, so Alex, I just like, so the, do you think that, um, the, the WW World Pro was the first competition to have a very high uh, money prize. So that started changing the world towards money prizes for uh, Jiu Jitsu. Yes. It's the, the, it started for 30,000. And you see, you start competing there after, you start coming the Grand Slams. And you can compete in the after, have the red carpet. And the guys start giving the 50,000. Yeah, you ask that yes, you have the rank, you use the first one in the rank, you have the 50,000, and all the comps you go to the Grand Slam, you can have three, four, five thousand 
US dollar and the, you be on the first in the rank, you can have 50,000. Imagine you have 50,000 US dollar, a lot Correct. of money. Correct. Because you have to think that for a sport, they never pay nothing before for their professional athletes, like guys that have been training for years and travel around the world, which can be quite expensive. That was one of the most magnificent changes, right, in the jiu-jitsu scenario ever. And that I think other organizations, by seeing this, felt obligated to do something about it, right? Uh, otherwise, they probably would never do anything. But So I think that was an amazing step, right? But Aside from the, the, the prizes for money in competitions, what is the project involving in terms of teaching? Uh, are these people get contracted to teach schools, to teach the army? What necessarily involves the project? Okay. Uh, now, my, the time I was there is uh, only the schools. And after uh, one year, two years, it started army. Army now... Um, five, six years ago, it started in the police. You see in the army and the police, you must do the some class. You have the minimum, I think, 100 something class before you can have the, you come the rank for go to officer. Okay. You wow. must do, it's mandatory. Mm. It's wow. mandatory. Army, police, it's mandatory. You want to be an officer, you must have some class for self-defense and jiu-jitsu. And the, the army, police, yes, and the school, the school is mandatory. You have the, the semi, the semi score, you do the mathematics and same thing in jiu-jitsu in the schools. And so to do that, they built jiu-jitsu uh, dojos in many areas, like in schools, they built an area just for jiu-jitsu? Yes, in every single yes. school? The education council uh, started put the mats. All the schools are so big and started the big area, put the mats and it give the go government give the geese everything. Every, have some nationals in the, all the schools around in Abu Dhabi, in the UAE, have the national for see which the best school in Jiu-Jitsu is Have all every month have the comps, have the local comps, have the national in the schools, and they have the AGP comps. And now, uh, four years ago, four five years ago, start now the big clubs, the football clubs. Start yes, you see, you see the Mika Galvão and his team, the Awarda club sponsor everybody. Yeah, you see the logo from UAE there, the Awarda Club, Al Jazeera Club, the big teams, the football start to sponsor all the boys. All the boys come and train with the team. Yes. Well, yeah, it's that. very big now in the football clubs. Yeah. So they just sponsoring to have jiu-jitsu guys as well? Yeah. yeah yes. Wow. Yeah. You see always the Mika Galvão compete. You see the logo from the Awarda Club. I remember there's a, there's a big guy as well that was in Abu Dhabi. He always competed with a, with a big logo. What's his name? That's super heavy. From uh, Jeff Team. Team. Uh, Ricardo Evangelista. Evangelista. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we have many. Uh, you see, a long time ago, I trained many times with the trans. Yeah. Amazing guy, trans, yeah. and the Igor Silva. Igor yeah. Silva. Yes, having big names. Have many guys very good. Now you see the clubs start bringing very good high level uh, competitor and the coaches to teach. And the, now is another. It's different now about the school. This is another project about the clubs. I see. So for us, right? For you that arrive there, you know, and become the head of referee. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in a second. But to see the extension of the project, how the, the embrace, how the, the Abu Dhabi um, government embraced, you know, and the Sheikh, they embraced that and they actually put it to that population, right, to offering schools and, and towards uh, police careers, etc. How amazing it is for us. Like, we would love to have that in Brazil. And I think in Brazil, it became more like a, a, a political machine to get votes rather than make 
you know, the difference completely, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's still now, helpful in Brazil, don't let me wrong, but I think it could be yes, a lot more uh, substantiated, you know? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, I agree with you. And the, you see now, I think more than 800 quotes, more than 800, more brown and black belts and the, with the female. And the, imagine 800, 900 black belt quotes. In the, imagine the, how is the size of the project. Uh, and the, uh, go, everything starts with the time somebody starts teaching the, um, the son for Sheikh Mohammed and start teaching him and see how he always want to play games, he stay with the video game and play, and he start the jiu-jitsu, start helping him, uh, start lose the weight, and hear how he interesting, and the Sheikh Mohammed started said, this is help my son, I can help all my my people here on the country and start building, building, and they have all the support. The time they share Muhammad, they talk something about, I want to do like this, everybody follow and they uh, how I can say, everybody follow what he said. Yeah. I, he want to be, that's it. He want to build and he, now how is change? You see many Brazilians, I think he, 90, 97% the quotes are Brazilian, okay? And the how is change, change everything, how the boys start. You see, always, all the Brazilians, they care about the teeth, uh, clean, everything, and the how you start to change, semi the ladies, with the females with the ladies, you start, to, ah, you have this on the hair, and start, to, uh, everything change. For the first year I was in Abu Dhabi, for until now, how changed so much about the, the jiu-jitsu help the people there to change, okay? Yeah, I know, it's, imagine you start in the school and you start, ah, go inside my guard and the close guard. Imagine, this is the Muslim culture. The culture, Why yeah. you go inside my guard and yeah. the, what you want to do? Uh -huh. And the, this is start step by step, change, and the, it's amazing how it's changed everything and now you see you go weekend there you want a big competition you see a kids competition almost two three thousand kids two week in the weekend uh -huh. saturday and sunday almost imagine you have three thousand kids in the comp when you arrived there alex the girls could play jiu-jitsu or not any, not at that time is a little bit can play, have the quotes, female quotes, of course. Only the schools is the female and the boys separate. But was that right at the beginning when you arrived there? Right at the beginning? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. It's separate, have some, but it's small, but the guys, the parents, the people didn't like, okay? Didn't like his eyes, ah, touch, go mount, this. But I think year by year it starts to change. The guy sees the sport, help everybody. He's here, help a lot. Mm -hmm. Psychology help a lot. The mental health, okay? And he helps you, you lose the weight. You, be, you have the health, okay? And the step up. Now is, you see the club is there. You see the ladies training with the men. And that's it. No problem. That's you amazing. How it's changed. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. And I think uh, Brazilians do a great job with that, you know, like super mellow, you know what I mean? And like easy lifestyle, like so kind of like kind of happy, you know, and bringing things together that way in it's a nice cool. way. Cool. That's a good quality that we, we hold for sure. Um, Alex, I would like to touch a little bit about refereeing, right? I Before I met you, I was talking to my students and I was talking to people that were in tournaments with me, and I was like, well, finally, a referee that's completely another level from any other referee we got here in Australia. Thanks, uh, thanks. I, I, like, I think you, I don't even, I have no doubt, in my opinion, you're the best referee by far here in Australia, and I'm so happy to have uh, that level of referee here. 
Um, so this is this was even before I met you, right? And as soon as I start talking to you, I said that, and this is I have no doubt about it. I 100% have this feeling, and I found that referee has a in jiu-jitsu has a biggest big problem in jiu-jitsu refereeing is because um, a lot of uh, my biggest majority of referees are from Brazil, right? And they are sometimes or most of the times uh, friends with people that are competing and uh, they struggle to separate like what a, a referee should be, you know, uh, do not take any place. Don't the Friendship doesn't go into this place right now. We have to act according to the rules. And I think that there is a big uh, difficulty. I think a lot of referees do not take that job very serious, very professional, and they they dare more like to show themselves off or, you know, like to, they're not into, and they taking this friendship thing to the mat where it should be the least thing that they should worry about. What are your points about that, Alex? Okay. Uh, uh, I already, uh, the guys know me how I work about, uh, I, I'm very serious about this. I'm the guy, I always I joke, and I a lot joke, and I play with everybody. Always, you see, I I joke with everybody. But yeah, at the time you talk about the work and about the referees, always I talk. Guys, I, 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 I here in Australia, go talk about Australia, is you don't have enough referees. I try help, I try to teach, I try to do some plans for... Uh, develop some referees, but uh, you know, I, I, I know the, the Aussie guys, the guys from everywhere in the world, forget Brazilians, I know the guys feel shy and if, don't want a referee. You see the Brazilian, I don't need to talk. The Brazilians talk Portuguese and very bad. Ah, only talk bad words. And the guys say, why? Why are coming here? Look, at the, wow. And you start, you can be blue belt, purple belt, and you see the Brazilian talk, you, why, why are the guys so nervous? I know, and, the, and the, the, another thing I know is hard to talk about this, but the time you come, and I don't want to be the head referee in Australia, this is the truth, who asked me one million times, please help me. Help me. I don't know many things. You help me, Gustavo Falsirol. He, Alex, please, please, please. I say, brother, I'm, I'm, uh, I don't wanna, I don't, I forget this too much. The guys talk, I, I, I try to do my best. I know I don't make everybody happy. I know, I know I don't, be, I, I do no one mistake. I do one million mistakes. You be the ref there and the, is very very hard. It's no easy. It's like this. It's, and you, what you must focus on the fight. The hours I talk about is easy. I judge the fight. Black belts. The guys think it's so hard. No, it's easy. It's hard. You you referee the kids. <laughs> white belts. You must take care about the kids. White belts. Mm. Something happened with the, the kids of the white belt, broke the arm, broke the knee, and you, I know some refs like this, look at another fight, ah, oh, look at the black belt, and did you hear the fight? Guys, you there, you must do the focus on this fight. Why the guys want to judge the black belts? Don't look the another side. I know, I do like this, your student come to me and he slap my face. Why are you crazy? Why you don't look to my fight? Ah, oh, ah, oh. and everybody afraid, huh? Everybody uh -huh. to be the black belts, everybody like this. But why the kids, the white belt, the guys look another another way. You must focus on the kids and the white belts. You must take care about it. the white belts, the kids. And another thing that the time you come to work, only think about the money. That's it. I don't need to talk anything more. You want to be referee. But you are, ah, I must, I go work Saturday, Sunday, I have this money. It, it, that's it, that's it, it's, it's hard to do. You see, every month I have the book here, I BJJF, and I, you know, I ask this in Abu Dhabi for maybe 20, 30 black belts. 
How many times you have the book and you read it? Never. 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 That's it. But the time something happened, hey, referee. Ah, ah. Guys, you never read black belts, never read the book. How you want to talk to me? Always I, I, I talk, I, I say, guys, it's like this, like this. Like, always, every month, I must read the book. Every day, I have the video. But which video, coach? Which video you see? Why? Go to YouTube. Go to any competition, put in the YouTube there. Uh, World Championship 2012, 2000. And you have, you start to see the points. Oh, why two points? Why three points? Why? And you start to be good. Yeah. But of course, you must have patience to, to start. And I, Study. I, I talk about this. I talk with everybody. The time you come and you think about the money, guys, that's it. It's a, you must love what you do. You come there about the money and you stay with you like this or this. I'm pissed off. Imagine I go fight some one ref like this. Yeah, like this, and never never read the rule. Never read, keep reading the rules, never study. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Or put the, the hands on the pocket and stay like this. Lord, yeah. You must the fox is so hard. I feel very hard to and another thing, always the time I do the seminar. I talk to everybody. Guys, if everybody, I have big fights about the guy said like this. He start the fight, he, I pull guard, and I close the triangle. 20 seconds, you escape. Advantage. Go put in six minutes the fight. Six minutes is the fight, no 10 minutes. Black belt, six minutes. And you escape, I have an advantage. This happened in the first 20 seconds of the fight. Five minutes, 40 seconds. You smash me. You almost pass my guard. I recover. You have advantage. One, one advantage. You smash. I don't do nothing. And the guys come to me. Why you don't give for the almost submit you if have the submission? But you wear. I can, of course, I can give the guy yeah, close the triangle. But you wear. Have this on the book. Show me. Show me where I have the book, the submission, the advantage, have more, more point, more score about the another advantage for the mount, back take. I, I, I want you to show me. No, it's no fair. He almost step, doesn't matter. I don't create the rules. I only follow what they what said. And the guy, guys, all, all the competitions, believe me. The guys come and start shouting, talk, guys. I already have it. I have the paper <laughs> with everything. I put the sign and I show. Them. Look, can you read in here? No, no, but it's no fair. <laughs> it's no fair. It's okay. It's no semi. You go compete in the subversion. You can do 10, 20 points, but I have almost two submission. You escape. Uh, uh, the fight is mine. It's according, different rules. It's according to the rule. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But IBJJF is not like this. It's not like this. And the, what you talk about, about I, I, guy, I try to do my best. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a few months more, one year, two years. I don't know. I try to do my best. I try to develop more referees. I don't want to see only Brazilians. This is true. Okay. I know it's so hard. Uh, for I have I ju I start to judge many years ago. I'm a purple belt. I, I the guys from IBJJ always invite me. I, I judge some fights, okay, and I judge some fights brown and black, okay. I BJJF. I was I I, I 24 hours. I live Jiu Jitsu. Mm. I was I like study. I train and I judge many fights in IBJJF, and the. I, I, I think he is about uh, uh, what I can say here is uh, I, I don't want to see only Brazilians. That's it. I, it must be fair. Must be fair. And it's hard, hard to I have my, I know, I know. Uh, yes, I want to say I, I, I separate. You never, you see my students in the comp, 
all my students know only can say I shake hands and that's it. You never see me, I coach. You never see me with my the name of my club. Guys, I I I go to the comp, I'm the head referee. I go to work, a referee. That's it. I know some guys didn't like, the guys hate. Ah, you don't care about I care. The, the time I said, Falsiroli, I go help you. Forget about, it's not forget about my students. My my partner can go and join, but you never see, you see me, you can talk to me. Alex, well, imagine I'm the head ref, everybody know, and my student go compete with your student. And I go outside. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And the, as I, the ref already, I intimidate the ref. I know. Yes. I know I already intimidate. Imagine zero, zero. I know it's better I, I give it to Alex. Or the Alex never invite me again to judge. Yeah. Of course, guys. It, of, everybody think like this. Yeah. It's don't heavy. I, I know some guys don't want to talk. Ah, no, this is... But it's true. Mm. You must separate. I don't care. It's my mom. It's my father. Go compete. You want to be the first? Kill your opponent. Kill. That's it. Don't have it, I help. I help what? I mean, feel bad. My best friend go fight, and I, I must help. You. Help not. I make joke with him. You are stupid. Porra, you don't beat the guy. Why you don't beat? Beat the guy. Why do what you want? Bite. I don't know. Do what you want. You must beat. Why I must help you? Oh, I, I mean, feel shy, guys. This, this is true. I, I put in Abu Dhabi, I put it. Already two referees outside, never judge with me. Everybody know about this. I look the fight very far, and the two guys famous, and finish the fight. I have the Julio, Julio Cesar from GF team with me, and I look, it's one one advantage. I say, Poh, no need to talk, huh? This guy beat the another one easy. It's, yes, and the guy. What happened? The time the ref put the another hand up, the guy turned, I'm far. I have eight mats. I'm in opposite side. The guy looked to me and said, only do like this. Negão, I, I don't want to talk bad about my ref. I know I don't, I don't want to talk bad, but okay, I don't say, ah, the guy is, is, did shit. Did, 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 did. I don't want to talk. The guy came to me, Alex. I, I stopped coming compete here about this. And at the time you start, I know you be fair with everybody. This, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, you know, guys, it's hard to put the TV. He, he play with all the, the mats. Imagine, the comp maybe you finish in seven, eight hours, you must finish in 15 hours. Mm. Imagine all the mats have camera. Why the guys put in only the finals camera? It's hard to put in all the match camera. Mm -hmm. And what I, I said, ref, come here, please. What happened? Look, I you know, I, I saw all the fight. All, 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 all. You give to the guy, the guy your friend, and they train with you. Look, I give you chance. You leave now. You that's it. No need to work more. You go. And I see what happened, or you can lie to me, say no, I think, and the, I I shut up, I don't want to talk more. You said to me, it, it, it's your decision, but it's, the time is very close, fight, okay. I, I, I have the experience, I say, okay, it's my opinion, is B, yeah. it, but the A is okay. Anyone yeah. you give is okay. No, no, coach, I'm sorry. I give to him, I train with him, I say, okay. Leave, bro. Leave, please, please. So, I, 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 yes. And that's that's the complicated thing, Jiu-Jitsu, Alex. That doesn't happen in any other sport at a professional level, which is you have the referee being a friend or a training partner of one of the guys that are that are competing. Like that does not exist in any other sport. And that's the difficulty that Jiu-Jitsu has to go through. Um, now, how do you feel, for example? Um, if there were, well, different levels of referees that perhaps, just an, an, an idea, what would you be 
an idea to improve that that you you have, might have thought about it. For example, every year you have a retest, have to see a test that shows that you're being studied perhaps and because they change, the rules actually change every year. So yeah. perhaps you uh, um, go up to date to the rules, you do a, you reset a test literally, and then if you didn't pass, you, then you, but if you pass, then you get uh, maybe a better salary, you know what I mean? Better payment and a better status on the competition. Um, and the other, so what do you think? Do you have any idea of that to improve that? Yes, this is one idea. Always I have what I do in Abu Dhabi, the time. I know here is, is guys, it's about the money. Here it's complicated. You see, long time ago, the guys complain, IBJJ complain about the, the money here. You pay the, there, you pay for all day uh, $150, $200. And here you, you receive for $35, $40 one hour. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 too much money. The guy said, ah, Australia is so expensive, so expensive. And my, this is a good idea, but always I talk about who make evaluate the, the refs. I, and you talk to me, are you, Alex? You is the head ref. Okay, but I'm not here tomorrow. And I, you are my friend. I give you the good salary, the higher level, I give you 50, you are my friend. And the another one, I don't give. I guys with me, I don't care. I they, I don't need to talk about me. The guys know me. About I don't care. Is my mom, my father, my brother? I, you is level. Your level is here. You can prove my your level here. I talk to. I know. I'm no liar. Why? Why I need a liar, guys? I don't need a yeah, liar. But, and what, what, what are you saying right now? Here? Yeah, what you're saying right now does reflect on when you're refereeing, Alex. You don't even need to say. Like, when, you, when you're refereeing, that's what we get it from just uh, observing and seeing your attitude on the mat, right? Um, but if um, one thing that I found as well, for example, so some good idea for to be able to ref a refreshment course for the referees or something to do with better pay or, or you know, try to have other coaches coming in, etc. cetera. Um, but the other thing as well that I found um, difficult as a, as a coach is that a lot of people, they wanted to start competing. Actually, they train jiu-jitsu and they want to start competing or they even do competitions. And, for example, if I go to your house tomorrow to play ping pong, Right, we're on a barbecue. We're gonna do ping pong. The first question I'm gonna ask you: What are the rules? Right? How do we make it to win? Are we gonna play up to seven points? Are we gonna play up to thirteen? You know, how many sacks? How many you know service do I have? Everything. Boy, these guys they do a sport and they go competing. They don't know the minimum and they don't read. For me, this is it's insane. It's insanity. Guys, yes. I, I have many ideas about what I said to you about hours before I start asking one hour before the referees come to the comp, one hour before to refresh some questions. But I was, I, now I think I did four or five uh, uh, refreshments. Yeah, only five courses. tournaments until now. No, I did five uh, I, I start to look to everybody. I know I have my notes. I put uh, this guy, this guy. The first time I, I was here, 2018, I I saw many. Uh, it's no mistakes, guys. Is is is. I don't talk about mistakes. The guys, Samuel said to me, the guys help the the friend, the the this guy from the same school. This is I I don't believe. I I I don't need to talk here. It's about. It. I mean, I'm feel shy the time you want to help somebody. Uh, you lost the, you, that's it. No, no, why you must help somebody? What the, you, you little be afraid about the coach. You start talking to, ah, this coach crazy. You want to talk to me? This is guys. You, it's easy. You only said the head referee, this guy, go talk to him. That's it. You don't need to talk anything. I go. I I do mistakes. I have many mistakes. I have many mistakes. This is normal, guys. I you think I can judge another fight and the guys ah 
E o Eduardo Cami, ah, ah, ok, uh, maybe I do the small mistake like this, I have experience, I, I, I study, I, I'm, I'm calm, I'm, I have the patient, the math, I have some scrambles, very tough fights, I'm relaxed and I start thinking what I need to do. This happens a lot with me, sometimes I, I give advantage quickly, for you start the time you pass the guy, the guy wanna scramble and turn. I do I, I like do the advantage straight away for something happen, is no points. It makes sense, guys, what mm -hmm. they talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I I like okay, but I can be the same in the football. The goalkeeper sometimes is the good one. I can have the mistakes, but you you must be fair. The yeah. time you fair, that's it. You can have the mistake. And many times, guys, believe me, I have the mistake. I don't see the guy show me the video. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I make a mistake. Of course, it's the small mistake. It's don't change. I never remember about the, the change, the result. You have four points and your opponent have two points. I forget about give the, these two points. The fight, but I don't give the to the another guy two points. Maybe finish you with, you with four points, and the, the another one two points. I, I guys, I don't have any problem. But you know why I do this? How you say sorry? I don't. I I be fair. I I you know the time you don't say sorry about your your mistake is the time you don't judge. It's serious. You don't judge serious. That's it. I don't have any problem. I jiu-jitsu is harder. Mm -hmm. Very hard. You start it. Yes. <laughs> Very hard. It, it's normal, guys. It's normal. Yeah. You must say sorry. I know. I'm a five degree black belt. I'm. I know everything. I'm the man. Ah, please sh shut up. Shut up. Boy, this don't exist, guys. You respect everybody. That's it. This talk about the degree. That is, for me, is bullshit. Alex. Okay? Yeah. Um, do you think like your background competing at a very, very high level as well helps you have a, this outlook on, on um, being a referee as well? Yes, 100%. And the same, imagine you, you start study, you come to the yeah. campus and start judge you like this. This is help you a lot. Like this, brother. You start judge, you have some campus, you don't want to you don't want to uh, compete, but he, I, this is help, uh, help me a lot. The time I come to the comp and I like to see the white, blue, purple belt do, and for, I come to the gym the next week and I start to teach. Oh, the guys do like this, huh? The guys do a lot. This is here, do the ex guard, the guys attack here, the guys do this heel hook. I like it. And you improve how you teach. And in yeah. your game, you see somebody do something nice. Ah, I want to try this. And for you, you start to judge, brothers, like this. Two, three, four comps, you expect. But I think also, like, um, the fairness comes from there as well. Like, because you, when you went and competed, man, it's hard. You work all the time, for years of time to go and fight one competition, world championship, whatever. The last thing you want as a competitor is to go there and then lose a decision because the guy's someone else's friend. So I just think, like, um, it's interesting to talk about and, and, like, listen to all the stuff you're saying because you come from the same background as the guys that are going there and fighting man and and like you're doing like a disjustice to these guys man that are spending their whole life trying to be a world champion and then they're losing a decision because um is someone's friend or is from the same club or from the same part of brazil or whatever it's it's very very honest man i, I appreciate hearing this stuff because man i i helped and refereed a competition and i can say after I, we also did hear some like internal competitions, man, it's very difficult to be a referee, man. There's so much stuff going on. It's it's I think it's harder than competing, man, because in the competition you're in the zone, you you know what to do. It's easy, but man, when you're there and you know you've been standing there for four or five hours already, you're a bit tired. You've been there since eight a.m. in the morning. You, you're hungry, didn't have lunch yet, and then there's these kids going crazy on the mat, going everywhere, blah blah blah, and you go, what just happened? I don't know. Oh, uh, 
you, you have to be very focused. You have to be present the whole time. And you have to be very sharp on the rules. But I think the thing that you're still saying, of course, we all make mistakes and that's okay. And you accept that and then you improve on it. But there's two main things. One, the people that go and compete and or referee are not professionals. They don't go there to be a professional. They go there either to make money or a lot of guys that compete, they compete because they want to take a photo for their Instagram. They don't even know the rules. They don't even know why, how it works, what the, why they're going to get disqualified. And like that's going to cause a lot of problems. And then the second thing is that fairness that you're talking about comes from because, man, you were there competing and busting your ass when you were a competitor back in the day, man. The last thing you want to do is rob someone of their victory. Nice. The last thing I want to give someone a victory as well. You have to go there and earn it yourself. And I think that comes from... Man, doing the hard work before. You did the hard work, man. You went there, you competed, you're a world champion, you're a medalist in ADCC. You did all this hard work. Why am I going to give someone else a victory when I had to work this hard? Do you know what I'm saying? And I think, yes, yeah, yeah. But, I but think it's very refreshing to listen to, man. High level competitor, the time you talk like this, you know what I feel? I feel shy. Only talk about this, I feel shy. This is happening. Happening until now, happening everywhere in the world yeah, yeah, yeah. how this is i don't believe how this is possible until now yeah i i i'm i feel i'm feel shy mm -hmm. i'm feel shy I, 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 the first thing i talk all the companies everybody know have your student you can judge but you don't want to judge you know you ah no my my coach talk to me i do something go away Stop the mat. Talk to me. I come to judge. I put another ref to judge. Mm. But I saw something happen. You never judge with me. I always, all the comps, the four comps I did until now, you can ask all the refs. I talk, I talk like this, guys. That's it. You want to judge? No problem. You can judge. But I feel shy. I don't have what you, you said now is... It's true. Uh, uh, guys, how, how, imagine you go compete, imagine you go for the final, any big comp, the national, you go, and you, Eduardo outside to coach you, and he already sees some referees go to the, there, and you already start to look same. You, you must have the fox to your fight. Yeah. Pa, and you look Eduardo. Pa, Eduardo, look the referee. You already start to lose your focus. Why? You have now two focus in your fight and the referee. Yeah. You know the referee is no 50-50. Is sure. uh, guys, it's so hard. It's bad. But what I talk here, no need to fight. With me here, you only say to your coach, coach, can I change the referee? The Eduardo come to me and talk to me. I, I, I go change. I do my best. I don't have another ref. I can judge. I do my best. I know it's only me, but I always I do my best, bro. You never see me with the head referee. I stay. I'm the head referee. I don't go inside the mat. I go inside the mat. I must bleed in with the guys. Always I talk about this. It's not only about the stats. It's everybody to me, Sammy. I must go there and work hard. Okay? I like to stay outside for C some mistakes and the help, but I must go inside, I go inside, yeah. okay? And the hours you can change. You know is final. Imagine your level, black belt, and you go to the final. The first thing, you must have three refs. The first thing, okay, you must have three refs, okay? And the, and come only one. I know, I remember about Queensland, I go judge, don't have many refs. And I go judge there. I I I think only one ref, only me, or have three refs in your fight. I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think there's been times there's just been one referee because yeah. there's low numbers. Yeah, but, I, yeah. I think the fight I I judge your. Oh, just you. Ah, ju yes. Don't. Uh, okay, I want a three refs. I but uh, only I uh, know only have you go. I say okay, I can go. That's it. But I always I prefer three refs. I can make one mistake and I always I have two, but it's same. Only me and the two refs don't do nothing. It's, or do the mistake same. I always, imagine, I do two points. 
you give the good takedown, and the ref is going to stand up and say, no two points. I must I must shut up and remove the points. The guy said, I was... It's hard, yes. Always I talk about 50-50. But uh, same I said before, always is, I feel shy to talk about this. Yeah, I think this is must completely finish. And I try to do my best to always I invite many guys from another countries to start the study and do the the referees with me. Okay, but uh, always I always I wanna be 50-50%. Uh, and the uh, imagine. After a few years, the jiu-jitsu, doesn't matter. I talk jiu-jitsu, I talk about no gi, gi. Hmm. You, you go to Olympic, imagine, uh, go to this level. But how go to this level? We, we don't have the referees. Oh. Only have Brazilians. What is the, the Olympic? Olympic, the referees, Brazilian? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, Why yeah. you must develop everything together? Now you see, I... I was before in Vietnam, eh, eh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, eh, Uzbekistan, eh, Mongolia. Pô, have amazing players. You see the guys purple belt, brown belts, it's high level. Guys, now everywhere in the world, the guys send jiu-jitsu. And very good level jiu-jitsu, okay? But now must have some refs for make develop the the comps everything you grow together uh, boy it's a it's a beautiful to hear uh what you had to say alex because a breath of fresh air here for the jiu-jitsu competition scene in australia to have a such a poor nice down-to-earth experience a fair referee like yourself um boy i really appreciate all the 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 words you you share here with us today um And if you, last words as well from you and from Anton, if you have anything about like what you think jiu-jitsu, how you like to see jiu-jitsu growing here, uh, or would you recommend jiu-jitsu for kids or anything you want to say as well? Last words. Yeah, thanks guys uh, to believe uh, what I I try to do is, is beginners, I know. I always, I I said I try do my best. Always the guy sees the I do the I try do my best. Always any comp I try do my best. I try help everybody. Okay, don't feel shy. I do some mistakes and he can scream with me. Sometimes I I I, I don't pay attention, but the guys talk to me. I I I have the experience. Sometimes the guys talk to me and they say Ah okay, yeah I I like it. and they start to pay attention more. Sometimes, you know, you stay a long time in the mat and you start to be a little bit tired. And the, the time, he, uh, many times, guys, the guys more, the coaches start screaming more help before I have the focus. And the, what I, I didn't like is about the, the time you don't know respectful, you talk the bad yeah. words like this, I don't like. But uh, guys, and the, thanks a lot to invite me and believe in my, what I do. Okay, it's amazing the conversation. I'm sorry about my my English is no, no very well. Very Nothing to be sorry about, man. It was perfect, Alex. Poor, really, seriously, man. It was really good. It was very poor. We can't. I can't be happier. Man. I couldn't be happier. Yeah, Alex. Thanks. Thanks so much for man sharing everything. It's been very um, interesting, and like I very much appreciate you for sharing um, your perspective because. Like, I think, um, like a lot of the stuff we talked about is, is very true and, you know, it can be sad sometimes, but it's also good to talk about and f to kind of like give this perspective for people to listen to because, man, like, I think it's true. Like not many people go to refereeing as a professional and you have to be, man, especially on the biggest competitions. You can be at a world championship as a brown belt or you can be in Abu Dhabi or whatever and still have suffered these types of things and it shouldn't be happening. And a lot of a lot of other sports have things in place. Like if there's a rugby match against um, Australia and New Zealand, the referee is from Argentina. The referee is from South Africa. It's not somebody that has the same nationalistic... Yeah. So it's, it's a very interesting point. And no, I just really appreciate your honesty and... 
it's very interesting to listen to you and talk about um, everything. But like the thing that I find the the most um, impressive is, man, you have a very um, stoic and very strong character, man. You don't care about what people try to make you feel bad or shame or this or try to guilt in whatever man and that comes from you know learning from all these guys that you talked about that started that were at the beginning of jiu-jitsu man where it was about helping each other and and jiu-jitsu first and improve jiu-jitsu and improve each other through jiu-jitsu and i think this is really impressive man and i'm um um excited to hear about this this type of growth in the human beings and stuff it's very very um inspiring for people to to look towards as well man so thank you so much for sharing but brother appreciate it and the soon you return together huh <laughs> of course yeah man, come over course. mike come over here anytime in brisbane let us know hey, next time we're there for the competition we can train too 100 percent, guys thank, thank, you very thank you very much, much thanks, a lot. thanks a lot again Okay, see you soon, guys. Yeah, see you soon, man. You Thank soon. you so much. Peace.